All right, gonna get started no-till planting some bird's foot trefoil. It's a variety called Bruce trefoil developed up in Nova Scotia. It's an improved variety. Uh, this is the first time that I've used a pre-inoculated bird's foot trefoil seed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna no-till it directly into an orchard grass sod, non-suppressed sod. I've done it three different ways. I've clear seeded it uh, after an oat crop. I've also gone in, put Roundup down and no-tilled uh, directly into a brome grass sod. And then I've gone like right around the first April before anything else starts growing and no-tilled into, uh, you know, a Timothy orchard grass, brome grass sod. All three methods work good if you use new type improved varieties of trefoil. Here I'm using the John Deere 1590 grain drill. This is from our conservation district. I'm the, I got lucky enough to be the first person to use it this year, so I had to grease it. A uh, lot of work to grease this thing. I'd like to see how John Deere does it. There's no manual with this. Somebody lost it. So uh, you gotta climb around under there. Each one of those uh, disc sets has three uh, grease fittings. And I mean, I didn't know any other way to do it except crawl around under there for a okay, while. Okay, this is what I'm gonna no-till into orchard grass sod. Uh, this has roughly about uh, five or six yards per acre of compost put on it. Uh, I, I got access to a lot of compost. I haven't bought granulated fertilizer in quite a while. I just didn't think the justification and the cost, uh, you know, to spend money on it paid off. Well, first thing I need to do is get calibrating that drill. Uh, I measured off 100 feet. I'm going to weigh the seed coming out of those seed tubes and uh, figure out how much, uh, how many pounds of tree foil I'm putting on an acre. I'm going to shoot for 10 pounds per so acre. So this is what I'm planting from Byron Seeds. Uh, like I said, I've always pre-inoculated, I've always inoculated my seed and stored the inoculate in the refrigerator. I hope this pre-inoculated seed works. I know a lot of people have had bad luck with trefoil. I've had great luck with it, but I pay attention to detail. Uh, this is the chart here, so it looks like I'll set it on notch four for now, and then I'll um, calibrate my drill. I had these gauge wheels set here in the number one position, and when you do that, you can see it just it didn't even really cut into the ground, you know. So I'm going to raise it up here, number three position, get a little bit deeper, a lot of trial and error. Then I'm going to see if I can get the depth and get the seed place. Okay, I am having trouble right now telling if I've got a deep enough furrow. It's a tiny furrow in here. Uh, not very big. And then this wheel closes it, pushes it down rather, and this closes. Not a lot of pressure here right now, uh, but it's just concerned about seed placement. Okay, so the first time I ended up with 5.4 pounds per acre, which I got three eighths of an ounce, so let me calculate this out. Okay, I'm finally going. Took a couple hours to get it calibrated, greased up. Another hour to use the air compressor, blow it out. I'm uh, figure I'm putting about oh, about ten and a half pounds per acre on. So I put my tree foil on a lot heavier than most people do. Okay, I got going on. And I noticed that seed was coming out of the cups and spilling out all over. And here's the deal. When you get done with these tubes, cleaning them, don't push them in all the way where they're touching. You bottom it out in there. I didn't realize they were doing that. So, I wasn't really getting the damn seed going down, not much is going down these tubes. Really tough to see where that marker marks. Very tough to see it. 
should have adjusted it so it had more of a pitch to the side. Yes, yeah, so I'm about wrapped up here. Um, yeah, it did a little bit better than 10 pounds an anchor. Uh, I didn't get the drill. Yes, uh, I got one little field to do before dark, about a three and a half acre piece. So pretty much got this 10 acre piece wrapped up. Small field, a lot of turning around. But um, I'll do an update on you know, on the future here, so we can see, you know, how this trefoil comes up, and I'll talk about the different varieties of trefoil that uh, that I plant.